Hi, my name's Professor Silver, and in today's class, I'll be exploring the history of Stephen Stone's shiny Mega Metagross, detailing everything it did from XY until the end of its epic showdown in the Masters 8. Metagross is one of the anime's most formidable Pokémon. With its steel psychic typing, it stopped Megas, devastated legends, and busted champions. It didn't appear in Ruby and Sapphire, but more than made up for the absence while fighting Alon's Charizard during the Mega Evolution Special's second act. Opposite the Mega, Metagross redirected Flamethrower, activated a Mega form of its own, landed Flash Cannon, tanked Dragon Claw, and obliterated a mountain with Meteor Mash. Mega Charizard retaliated with Blast Burn and another Dragon Claw, but Mega Metagross countered with another Meteor Mash. Although Lysander then interrupted the battle, I have no doubt that Steven's ace would have won had it continued. That same episode, Metagross proved its power even further by fighting Mega Rayquaza. Little of the battle was shown, but that it survived against a Mega Legendary is nothing short of amazing. During the special's third act, Mega Metagross established that it was in a league of its own by going head-to-head -head with Primal Kyogre. After striking the Legendary, it missed Flash Cannon, dodged Origin Pulse, and landed Meteor Mash. Though Primal Kyogre then sent it plummeting, Mega Metagross stabilized itself, withstood Ice Beam, and saved a lot. Thereafter, Metagross appeared in a fantasy during the XY episode, Rivals Today and Tomorrow. It also appeared in a flashback in Coming Apart of the Dreams. Metagross returned in proper form, in the right hero for the right job. Alongside Steven, it defended the good guys from Team Flare and beat up some grunts with Psychic. In rocking Kalos' defenses, Mega Metagross further whittled away at Lysander's evil scheme by joining in the war against the giant rock. With Brakeson on its back, it devastated many vines. Even though the vines eventually caught it within their embrace, Mega Metagross was freed by Diantha and the Kalos gym leaders before any actual harm was done. After Steven and Diantha agreed to share leadership over their super team, Mega Metagross and its allies took part in an all-out assault against the giant rock. During the army's attack and forming a more perfect union, it teamed with Diantha's Mega Gardevoir to clear a path for Ash and Alon so that their Pokémon could destroy the rock's exterior and free Chespi. Partially due to Mega Metagross's efforts, the rescue was a total success. Following many years of off-screen battling, Mega Metagross returned in journeys for the Masters 8. Because it was recognized around the world as Steven's ace, Paul prepared Ash for the tournament using a Metagross of his own. During the first round of the Masters 8, the Iron Leg Pokémon first fought Ash's Dracovish. It dodged Water Gun with Agility and blocked Vicious Rend with Psychic, but then got swapped for Aggron. It wouldn't be until Steven was down to his final fighter that Metagross returned opposite Pikachu. At the battle's start, Metagross Mega Evolved, calculated Thunderbolt's trajectory, dodged each and every shock that came its way, evaded Iron Tail, and used Psychic. Sadly, Pikachu turned things around with 10 million volt Thunderbolt. Upon shocking the Mega into submission, he won out with Iron Tail. Following the loss, Steven left the tournament. He likely did so so as to train Metagross for a rematch. Now that we've covered Metagross's history to date, let's get to its battle record. We can assume that Metagross earned many wins off screen, but unfortunately, none of them were shown on screen. Its one and only loss was to Ash's Pikachu. Move-wise, Metagross used Agility, Flash Cannon, Meteor Mash, Protect, and Psychic. Mega Metagross got no wins, but it still proved itself as one of the anime's best brawlers. I loved watching it battle, as every move it used was packed with power. Between its fights and X, Y, and journeys, I don't think any other Steel-type can beat it. I doubt we'll ever see this, but I'd love to one day learn of its origins with Steven. On that, class is adjourned. If you'd like to support the channel, join the Patreon, subscribe, hit that like button, and ring the bell so you're never late to class. Until next time, catch you later.